Welcome to our free webinar and happy National Heroes Day by the way. Welcome to our free webinar and feel free to share this, this live video with your friends and watch together, interact with us through the comment sections. And of course, um, me and my fellow facilitators for this, specifically our MC, author MJ, will be reading your comments as you interact in the comment section through our Facebook page, Author is a Gay. Yes, and I'm so happy and so blessed this day because of you joining us in this webinar. And of course, I'm blessed because I have with me fellow, fellow facilitators who joined my team, who joined the team in facilitating this webinar. Yes, so I'm blessed to introduce our MC today, author MJ. Without much ado, may I welcome our MC for this day, author MJ Gambulao. Yeah, hey! Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. And I'm on live on Facebook. We're live on Facebook. To those who are on Zoom, good morning, everyone. And happy, yon, happy National Her Heroes Day. So I was asking, why is it holiday? I thought it was just para makapagpahinga. You know, the mom, she is just like me. And those who are working, keeping themselves busy, sa kanilang mga responsibilities, accountabilities. Ngayon, let's join and try to unstuck those uh, tangled thoughts whatsoever. This free webinar of author Lisa Gay. Thank you for inviting me to be your, be your co-facilitator today. And I am tasked to start this webinar officially. Let me introduce the man of the hour. <laughs> man of the hour. To warm our morning with inspiring messages, let us all welcome the president of Messenger Pope Publishing, an author, speaker, our book coach, Mr. Chris Planis. All right. Good morning, everyone. I here we are, and uh, this morning something uh, amazing, something exciting, and I thank author Lisa for putting this together, uh, together with her team, and uh, it's just wonderful to have here people who want to to break through, right? And I believe that we are here, you are here because you want something, and that something is good something better something brighter in other words you want to break through right that's the title of this webinar you and i want to grow you and i want to move on and move forward right just in case you haven't moved on yet from whatever is in your past right and i, I believe you'll go deeper into that in this webinar the reason people are stuck is that because they allow chains of the past to claw them right ayaw natin yon you don't want that and that's why we are here we are here because we are aware that we need help we are aware that for us to get better we need to learn something get this learning and take action, right? That's what we want. Alam nyo, I met Lisa Gay some years back in uh, Toastmasters. And I saw how she opened herself. Uh, she opened herself up to, to learning and she humbled herself. You know, she is an English teacher. And I saw how she welcomed correction, comments, and feedback on her speeches, on how she delivers, and even on, on grammar and pronunciation. <laughs> and I was thinking, hmm, she, I believe she has been teaching this to her students. But there she is, humbling herself to 
to that specific learning, to that specific area of growth. She, in other words, is dedicated to getting unstuck. And so, I believe that whatever she is going to share today is something that is born out of a beautiful experience, as an experience of transformation that she had and that she continue to have. It's a beautiful journey that is unfolding each and every single day. You know, one day after a Toastmasters meeting, she approached me and said, can you mentor me? And then I, I just smiled at her and asked, mentor on, on what? And sabi niya, on, on what you do as a speaker, as a trainer, as a writer. And then I just looked at her and um, I, I saw how sincere she, she was. And she is this time. And so I said, sure, let's see what we can do. Yun yung sabi ko. And then I wasn't sure what happened at the time after that conversation. But then last year, remember, the pandemic hit. And many things stopped. Many events were canceled. And as you might have noticed, many people got stuck. Many people got stuck, right? But actually, if you look deeper, even before some people got stuck because of this external factor in the form of the pandemic, some people were stuck long before this because of an internal factor. And I'm saying this because I, I noticed that there are people who got stuck for, for some days because of the pandemic, but then eventually they found their way back. And then even in the midst of a crisis like this, they experienced breakthrough and they demonstrate a breakthrough and they're helping other people to break through. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that exciting? In April 2020, on the height of the ECQ, I opened what I call a seven-day challenge for aspiring authors. And it was free. It was fun. It was fruitful. It was a meaningful experience. And one of those who joined was Lisa Gay. And then later on, with five others, she signed up for my book coaching program. And then in just five months, they launched their first books. I believe that is a manifestation of a breakthrough. But wait, baka akala mo kailangan mo magsulat ng libro. Yes, you can. Go ahead if you want to. But breakthroughs happen in many ways. Just like when Lisa Gay realized something after what she calls a grocery experience. And I think she will be sharing that to you today together with many other forms of breakthroughs. So even before she starts sharing her practical ways on how to get unstuck here, you, you and I, let's decide now on, let's identify what areas are we stuck in right now. Because I believe that yes, you're doing well in other areas, in some areas, but in other areas maybe we are stuck. So what are those? And as you think of them, get ready as you open your hearts and open your minds. Open your eyes and open your ears and open yourself to great possibilities. So get excited and get ready. Get ready for more. Let's enjoy this webinar. And congratulations in advance, author Lisa Gay, and to everybody who's joining this beautiful, wonderful event. Good morning, Sabing Ann. Yes, good morning. And thank you so much, Coach Chris, for that words of wisdom, the warm introduction, and of course, for the encouragement. And 
for everything, Coach Grace. Thank you so much. I'm honored that you, um, I have a coach like you who has helped me get through this series of breakthroughs that I've experienced since last year. And thank you so much, Coach Grace, once again. And yes to everyone, I pray that in this webinar, may we experience breakthroughs in whatever form, in whatever areas we need to break through. May we have it through this webinar. May this webinar help you or help us attain that breakthrough. And yes, before we start, may I lead you all. May we have a short prayer to acknowledge and of course to recognize what's going on around us, to pray for people who are going through difficulties. So may I invite you for a short prayer as we continue with this breakthrough webinar. Father in heaven, we praise and thank you for this wonderful day that you have given us, for this beautiful opportunity that you have granted us, this beautiful day for us to enjoy, to learn, and at the same time, to experience breakthroughs that you have set for each of us. Lord, as we come to this webinar, we acknowledge that you are the source of everything. You are the giver, and of course, you are the greatest breakthrough that we can have in our life. And only if we have the courage to reach within us and have that greatness that you have planted in each of us, we then we will be able to live the life that you have set for us. Lord, we are also aware of what is going on in the world, the war, the famine, this pandemic. Sometimes it's so easy to get dragged into this cycle of being stuck, thinking that the situation seems hopeless. But we know, Lord, that you are still on the throne, that despite the challenges that we are going through right now, you still have a plan for us. In the end, it will still be beautiful. That, Lord, life is still beautiful in spite of all these challenges. And so, we offer you everything. The content, the desires of our hearts. We offer you our loved ones who are suffering from sickness. Who are fighting cancer, fighting this COVID. We also offer prayers for those who lost their loved ones. Who are suffering from grief because of losing a loved one. Lord, you embrace them in your head. And as we celebrate also the National Heroes Day, this day, Lord, may you point us to the hero in each of us so that the hero within us will emerge. And in that way, we will be able to become heroes to others. We become heroes in this world that needs lots of help and encouragement in so many ways. And so, Lord, help us this day to break through. And we offer you the seminar. We offer you this webinar. We offer you the facilitators. I also pray for me that you may use me to speak your words of hope to the people who need to hear your message this day. And to those who will be watching the replay. Lord, I also offer these participants. May you help them and grant the desires of their hearts. Lead us to, the, to this breakthrough, Lord, and everything we do for your honor and glory. In Jesus' most powerful name, amen. And I give back the control to our ever gregarious and active MC or Master of Ceremony for this day. I'm honored that she said yes to this event, even if I just coordinated with her yesterday. So let's welcome aboard once again our MC, author MJ Gambulao. Well, thank you very much, author Lisa, and thank you also for trusting me to do this. And at the same time, would not say yes if you are going to learn so much from someone who's like author Lisa Gay breakthrough how to get unstuck in life I need that too more than anyone else not just because
because of this pandemic. But of course, just as coach, our coach, our book coach, coach Chris said earlier, let us open ourselves to greater possibilities. And of course, how would we do that? How would we open ourselves to to greater possibilities if we will not be able to identify where or where or what? Is the reason where we are stuck. See, I cannot even. I'm stuck in the words, in the words, and it's actually resounding in my head. Greater possibilities unstuck, and I really need those as well. 